Asensia cigars, perfected for more than 150 years. Yours to enjoy now. Welcome back to Stogie Geeks, episode 318. I'm your host, Joe Zempa, joined remotely by the little brown-haired kid from Texas, Mr. Drew Gavin. Drew, this week, we get to talk about the Placenza Elma del Fuego. This week, we get to talk about the Placencia Elma del Fuego, Drew. I'm excited to talk about this stick. I'm having this stick right now. The specific size I'm having is the Falma. That's a six and a half by 38. Oh, yeah. It's wicked good, as we say here in Rhode Island. Just to let you know, it is a 2019 Cigar Aficionado ranked stick. It came in at lucky number 13 in the 2019 pick. Your rapid binder filler is all Nicaragua. What do you think of the stick? Very good stick. I love this stick. I've actually had six already. Uh, <laughs> some, yeah, I've had six of those. Um, yeah, very good stick. Uh, it all, this cigar offers, uh, you know, very good savory notes and leather, and uh, it's just really nice. I, I've uh, I, I probably have had two a month in the last. Uh, I'm going to say la- at least the last three to four months. So nice cigar. Love Abs- it. Absolutely. My first takeaway from this c- cigar, first of all, Rapid Binder Filler are all Nicaraguan. It's available in three different sizes. It's available in a Robusto, 5x50. It's available in a Toro, 6x54. And it's available in a Penatella, 65 x I'm digging the, the the Panatella size. I've had it in the Robusto size. I've also had it in the Toro size. So I've had it in all three sizes. As it gets bigger in size, mm-hmm. it yes, I tend to lose the flavor that we get from the volcanic uh, soil that it that it's so, come uh, from. Yeah. Yeah, that's only because of a component of uh, you know the bigger the size. Some of the nuances there. Uh, when we interview Nessa Placencia, uh, I'm going to ask him um, when he created uh, each stick in his line, which size was he thinking of in general? And I would venture to say, I'm going on a limb here, that it started with this and then they done the other sizes there. As opposed to some of the traditional way is they usually do it in a uh, Robusto. And then have it go from from there. That's why I always tell the story, geek listener. If you're going for it and you like it, and it's not a robusto, try the robusto. You won't be disappointed in in any yeah. brand. But yeah, yeah, yep. And that's and that's and that's what I've had the the six. I haven't had the the flam, uh, flama. Uh, the condet the condetta is the robusto. Uh, of course, that's pretty much my size. That's my cigar. But the Penatella, I'm gonna have to get me a couple of those now. Yeah, and, absolutely. Yeah, because I, de- you definitely are correct. <laughs> I, I mean, when that wrapper, if that wrapper, uh, being that it's a smaller gauge, that wrapper will definitely Pop. set off a whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The a, the wrapper pops, in my opinion. If you go yeah. to StoryGeeks.com, click on the Placencia logo, you can find a retailer near you. While you're there, you can click on the cigars that they have to offer, and when you go to the cigar, it just basically tells you that. There's a strong character from the volcanic soil that stems from the Ometepe Islands right there. You're going to get wood characters, sun-grown, and you're also going to get a hint of spice that this cigar has to offer. And I couldn't agree with that description more. One thing I want to add in regards to characteristic, when we've done the other two Placencias that we've done, and we're going to go through their line in this series here, at Story Geeks. When we've done the other two, I've noticed a stronger component on the other two that we reviewed. And just to give you an idea what those were, the Cosecha 146 Robusto and the Elma del Campo, uh, which was the uh, Toro Extra 6.5 by 54. And I mentioned in both of those the a really thick, smoky component on your palate that kind of lingers. In this case, it's not as smoky as those other two, and we're going to take the time and rhythm to, to go through the rest of the line as these episodes continue. But what I've noticed is that I'm getting that spice 
from that Ometepe Island. I can I can really taste that spice that's significant, and the retro hail can be a little bit tingly on your nose. Um, there, so maybe uh, be be warned if if you try it. Oh yeah, I can't wait till we get to the uh, Elmer Fuerte. Oh. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that yes. one. I have. I have two boxes. <laughs> yeah, I've actually, when when they shipped the um, lines for us and we're getting a promo and organizing the promos, I, I have one left for the show. <laughs> nice. And because I go to storygeeks.com and click on the Placencia banner, I don't find any retailers near me <laughs> here in the Northeast. <laughs> so I have to wait. That's one thing. It's going to age. It's going to age a couple of weeks. Right. Yeah, <laughs> the Elma, and this Elma del Fuego. I'll tell you, I do my morning sticks. Uh, I've had I've had this uh, twice in the morning, and this is a very nice stick to kick off your day with. I mean, it, you know the uh, uh, as they tout on their website, you know the the the, the, the notes of you know the tangerine and the, and the uh, creaminess uh, and the taste of the roasted uh, cashews really come through. Uh, you know, as you're drinking your coffee in the morning and. Uh, yeah, this, I've I've had the cigar in the mornings. I've had uh, a lot of you know people comment on them, uh, and it's just a very enjoyable cigar. Absolutely, I, I think it I think it is great. Uh, Stoy Geek rating. Oh, that's a box. Oh yeah, box. I was just saying, box. box all day. Yeah. Uh, box all day. Um, it it it's a little pricey if you're shopping around there uh, new to sticks. Uh, makes a great celebratory cigar if that doesn't fit your budget, uh, for sure. Um, but yeah, you can definitely check these out at a retailer near you to find one. StoryGeeks.com. Click on that uh, Placencia banner, throw in your zip code, and away you go with that. So uh, definitely check it out. Drew and I both give it a box. Uh, mm-hmm. Paul's had some behind the scenes, and um, I did not ask him for his rating, so I will report back next week. Because we are doing another stick from Placencia next week. Just to preview that. Next week, we are slated for the Reserva Original. Mm -hmm. Which I've had that and I already have my notes in here. I just got to get them on here. So uh, that's a good stick as well. But Yeah, I'm working on that one right now as we're speaking. (laughs) Cool, man. Cool. Absolutely. Drew, what else have you been smoking? Uh, so yeah, I'm going to kick it off with the, uh, the total flame. I was shooting you some photos early in the week about total flame. Cause I I've heard of them. Mm-hmm. I've just never got my hands on them. Uh, know me, my, my, at my home cigar lounge, prestige cigars and tobacco in Bedford. Uh, so yeah, he had them there and he's like, Hey, I got these, I got the cigars you got to try. And I'm like, okay. And when he showed them to me, I'm like, Oh my God, I've heard these. So total flame M72. It's a, uh, Seven and a quarter by 57 Solomon. Uh, it does contain Russian uh, tobacco in the filler. Uh, production uh, is limited, though. So these are very limited. So if you if you if your uh, uh, brick and mortar has them, grab grab some. Uh, I even had a guy on Instagram who says, oh, my God, he goes, we just got these in yesterday. Uh, the day I, uh, that morning when I posted that uh, morning stogie and he said, you know, and I'm pretty sure he went he went and got some. Uh, from his brick and mortar, but, uh, but yeah, uh, so, uh, the, the name comes from a, uh, Ural M72 is Soviet motorcycle, uh, production on these again, it was 15,000 cigars, uh, through about 5,000 will be offered in the U S and will be sold in numbered boxes of five cigars with a price of 99 bucks a box, give or take tax and what have you. So uh, taste notes on this uh, for me, brown sugar right off the kick. I mean, man, as soon as, it's, as, soon as I lit the foot, uh, did a cold draw first and then lit the foot, and that brown sugar just came through. And it's very mellow. It's not oversweet, not overpowering. Uh, and then it just transitions into some soft spice. Uh, you got some rich tobaccos. You got the leather component that comes in. Uh, uh, and, and it just starts to really just take you on a very nice, relaxing trip. And so that's why... Uh, for me, I, I'm going to get me more of these as much as I can and, and have them uh, as my morning stick. Uh, leather oak component in there, a little bit of oak component. Uh, again, uh, not too uh, not too overbearing. Uh, on a retro hell, uh, you, you, that's when that 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 soft spice just really starts to come through, and uh, and it just it's just enjoyable throughout the uh, throughout the uh, the event. What's your rating? So, 
so my store geeks rating on this is a fiver. Uh, you know, so uh, share, <laughs> share them, uh, get the word out. Uh, and I believe this cigar is also uh, so uh, Placencia. So let me just read this real quick. So uh, this cigar it uses a burly tobacco from the one hundred and one year old. I can't even say this port Chigasi Kia cigarette and cigar factory that was sent to Placencia cigars. Uh, in Estel, Nicaragua. From there, it was blended with Nicaraguan tobacco for the wrapper binder filler. So just to kind of give you a, uh, a heads up, you know, so uh, Placencia had uh, a little hand in this. So, mm. or a large hand. <laughs> uh, but yeah, definitely a fiver. If you can get a box, grab it. I mean, you, you will not be disappointed in this box. The only thing you'll be disappointed in is that there are not too many of them around. So right, right. enjoy sure. it. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy it. Smoke them if you got them. Yeah. Absolutely. Have you had the chance? Have you had the chance to grab that? No, I have not. And okay. I know you texted me the pitches, and it's on my long list of things to do. I need an intern. I got one for you. So I uh, need like sad. an intern to mail sticks. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I, I, again, I'm, I'm I'm crying. Me, me, me. We here at Security Weekly strongly need an intern to mail sticks and find stuff for that. Oh, yeah. So uh, I, if well, you know a college you. student that wants to earn some credits, um, you, you know, we can we can we can do it under the Security Weekly umbrella instead of the instead of Stogie Geeks this way in college. You know, but we, it's just stuff like that. Like, you know, it's like got to do. I, I literally have a to do folder and I'm not lying. I click on it. It's got eleven hundred things to do. Oh, yeah. Like it just you know, and it's like I gotta get to it. I gotta get to it. I gotta get to it. So, uh, anyway, Story Geeks. I want to remind you if you go to StoryGeeks.com and click on the McAuliffe banner, they're looking for cigar ambassadors in every state. Check them out. You get some benefits. You get an ambassador coin, Facebook group membership, uh, a cigar at specific cigar uh, McAuliffe events, exclusive contest for ambassadors, twenty five percent discount on all swag. And a behind-the-scenes information about a boutique cigar company. Check them out, storygeeks.com. Check out their ambassador program, and it's a great way uh, to um, get out there and represent a truly unique and interesting uh, cigar company and business model. And McAuliffe is coming to the microphone soon, so we're going to expand on that and move forward uh, over there. Um Drew, you have one more stick. Yeah, so my next stick I have was the uh, Espinosa Habano number four, uh, five by fifty-two. This is a, a medium to full uh, body cigar. Uh, so the number four that is made in the uh, La Zona factory in uh, Nicaragua, uh, along with the rest of their line. Uh, taste notes on this and uh, in this particular stick was uh, uh, pepper right off the kick. I mean, and it gives you a nice little kick as you as you fire it up. Uh, the first third, uh, uh, first third pepper, uh, some vanilla and nutmeg. So you got that mixture coming in, and it starts to walk you down into the uh, second uh, third of the stick, where you start to get the cinnamon. Uh, you get a little bit of earth uh, in there, uh, and uh, and some leather component. Uh, and then from there, it just starts to transition in the last third uh, with more of the cinnamon there. And then you start the vanilla starts to come back just a tad bit. Uh, pepper on the retro hell definitely. So if you do the retro hell, you're going to enjoy that pepper note that's there. It's not overbearing. Uh, it's very doable, and you'll find yourself wanting to do some of the more retro hells throughout this particular stick. Uh, this has been a uh, one that I definitely will move into a uh, regular rotation for me. Uh, the wrapper is uh, uh, Mexican Capa Negra. Uh, the binder is Nika, and the uh, filler is Nika. So very good stick. I highly recommend it. I gave, I gave this uh, a box worthy as well. Mm. Uh, price point, they're not that bad. I mean, price you can get this 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 box for uh, about a buck twenty five and 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 have these cigars throughout the year uh, in your rotation. There you go. There you go. Box split. Box split. You said box. no box worthy. Box. Oh yeah. There you go. Awesome. Super cool. I want to thank Calvin for emailing me. Calvin is from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. 
Oh, yeah. Harrison. He told me to check out this cigar and other cigars, and next week I'm going to get to the rest of his cigars. But Calvin told me to check out the Warped Series Grand Reserva 1988 Robusto. Hmm. I couldn't find it here in Rhode Island. Drew sent me some. As in if he wants to put more salt on the room, he sent this on more salt on the wound. He sent me cigars after I promised him four months ago to send cigars. Uh, there. <laughs> Which is why people keep emailing me, Joe, don't forget Drew's cigars. Anyway, <laughs> this was ranked number three in 2019. Rapid Binder Filler is from Nicaragua. It's made by Aganos Leaf. Mm. True Nicaraguan taste. Classic Nicaraguan stick, Nicaraguan 101. You're going to get a little earthiness. You're going to get uh, some coffeeness. Uh, it, it appears great with coffee. I had it with a coffee and a Bloody Mary at the same time. True story. <laughs> I, they don't break the bank. Aganos Leafs coming out with some super cool stuff. They've been doing some 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 cool stuff there that that I've been kind of monitoring. They were, if we were to do a top fifteen of cigars to wa uh, cigar companies to watch, they would certainly make that list if it was yes. coming from me there. But we limited it here to top five. Um, absolutely, positively, I certainly want to say thank you to Calvin for emailing us here and giving us his feedback. He also gave me some feedback as to where he his favorite hangout is and all of that stuff, and I checked it out online, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, if I'm ever finding myself in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, I will be there because it's called Harrisburg Beer and Cigar. Sounds Ooh. like my type of place. I might even bring my guitar and rip a few tunes over there. And maybe I'll nice. catch Calvin. Who knows? But uh, in regards to the actual rating, I would give that rating a box split. Uh, right. Super cool stick. And there you go. Do you have anything else you want to add to this, Drew? Uh, no, I actually, uh, uh, I've had a couple of them. I bought us, uh, a few of them. And uh, yeah, this stick has been uh, a very enjoyable smoke. Uh, so I, I've already gotten two down, uh, working on the next three here, probably in the next four weeks. Mm hmm and, and they're just ready to go. I mean, they're they don't need no time nope. to rest. Ready to I mean, go. They're, they're ready to fire up, cut them, and 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 light them up. And so, yeah, this 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 cigar is definitely going to be uh, uh, one that's more on the creamier creamier side, but yet you still get that surprise where uh, the spice kicks in and it balances out. Mm -hmm. So definitely a little complexity there in a great way. Uh, well, complexity in all ways is great. <laughs> mm. uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, I really thoroughly enjoyed the cigar. Um, I think so. Calvin is the one who emailed us, right? Yeah. Yep. And I and I immediately went out after our show, well, the next day, Saturday, and found the cigars. Uh, took a picture of them, sent to you, and then. By Wednesday, they were in FedEx box. I know. On, in the, on, on the way to uh, Rhode Island. I know. And yet, Paul and I failed to send you cigars. Oh, no, no. I apologize. I need an intern. I need an intern. Uh, it reminds me. That remind, it, you know, it just reminds me of my of my of the time where I, I went up to prom, asked to girl out, got the car, got suited and booted, arrived, and she was nowhere to be found. Oh! Oh, I love it. You're throwing dirt right from Texas to Rhode Island over here. That's super cool. <laughs> that, I, 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 but later on, it turned it, out just fine. I showed it, up at it'll, the prom. It'll, it'll, it'll turn out just fine, I promise, someday. Oh, yeah. Right? No, it, <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I want to uh, remind the Story Geeks listener. We keep the conversation going all week long. You can go to storygeeks.com, visit us on Facebook, communicate with Drew and I. It'd be good to hear from you. You can email Joe H. Storygeeks.com. All complaints sent to Drew at Storygeeks.com. Don't right. forget, tell your friends about the podcast. I want to remind you that behind every cigar, there's a story worth knowing. Get out there and shop local. Next week, I'm going to tell you a true story. Today, I bought a box of 50 unsigned, unsmoked, unseen sight unseen bought the box i'm picking it up at five o'clock today i'll let you know what it was i want to thank jc newman havana cigar club placentia cigars and McAuliffe cigars so you geeks andrew we'll see you next week peace <laughs>